for most of the history of civilization, gravity as, as a concept wasn't really thought of. It wasn't until uh, Newton came along that people started to use the word gravitation and to think about, well, what, what is this thing and what are its properties? And then I'll ask Pedro to take us briefly from Newton to, and especially Einstein as the author of the book, um, the, the Perfect Theory, you dealt a lot with. Einstein. Well, I can give you a whistle-stop um, tour through it, and, and I actually can relate it to something that David said. He said two things. He said, we, we can send rockets to the moon and we can calculate ripples in space-time. We can send ro rockets to the moon basically because, uh, you know, 300 years ago, a guy called Newton f uh, figured out that he could explain why apples fall to the surface of the Earth or why planets go around <coughs> the sun in terms of a very simple equation, a very simple law. And it's this um, law of universal attraction, which is proportional to the mass of objects and inversely proportional to the square of the distance. In other words, the further away things are, the weaker the force is. And it works beautifully. And it's, a fanta it's fantastic. You can, calculate, you can calculate how you send rockets to the moon very well. Um, the interesting thing about this is it, it has a, a bizarre property in that it it's, um, it's, it's has an action at a distance. In other words, it, it happens instantaneously. There's no there's no speed in this. There's no information there, there's no information of how fo how fast this um, this force propagates between objects. And by the turn of the beginning of the 20th century, this was a problem because Einstein had figured out how to marry um, the laws of mechanics, the laws of how things move with the laws of light. And I'm not going to go into this, but uh, one of the things that came out of this is that there was a, a cosmic speed limit. There was Things couldn't propagate faster than a certain speed. So there was this inconsistency between this law of gravity that works remarkably well and understanding of physics at the beginning of the 20th century. 